Getting your name known. Networking is a great way to get to know other artists and to get known as an artist. Surprisingly, artists help each other. It's often a good way to find out about shows that are coming up, great galleries to work in, not so great galleries to work with, and different things like that. So it's important for you to network, get to know other people. There are different ways to get your name known. Here's a list of options. Some of these might not apply to you. Your local art scene may not have groups to join. There may not be local shows for you to join. You may not like teaching, but you would love working the internet or vice versa. Read through the possibilities. Add some to your list. First and foremost, visit other artists. Visit galleries and art activities for the love of it, not for just pitching your work. Get to know people first. Get to them to know you. Make friends. Save your pitch for later. Show interest in collecting business cards from people you meet. Find out about other artists. These are all suggestions. It all depends on what your goal is, what your area is like, where you live. Visit galleries in your area and get to know the gallery owners. Attend as many openings as possible. This is not to promote your work, but to become known as an artist in your community. Join fine art societies, enter contests, start with student level contests at first, and small local art contests. If there are no art groups in your area, create one. Ask the artists you know to help. If there is nothing to join and you want support, this is your best choice. In fact, this works really well. Ask your artist friends to join you and call your group a name. With this group, you can create shows together. You can teach each other different techniques. You can help each other join galleries. You can do all kinds of things together. It's a really good option. In some areas, there might be realistic painters, but no abstract painters. So if you're an abstract painter, find other abstract painters and create your own group. You can also teach workshops. This will help you not only get known as an artist, but as an expert in your field. Not everyone likes teaching, so really think about this. Do you really like teaching? Build your skills until you can enter major national or international contests. Enter juried shows. Getting a painting into a juried show is in itself an achievement to put on your resume. When you have too many, shorten the list and include only important shows. Believe me, this will happen. Find an art agent. Where I live, there's no such thing as an art agent, but in larger centers, there is. Most art agents don't want beginners. Make a pop-up show. Ask a local business if you can set up a table in their business. Ask others to join you. Set up for one day. Make sure that you set up a way to collect emails so that you can contact them again for when you have a home show or you have a gallery show. Apply for a booth in the local trade show. You are a business, you know. Hold a garden show. Set up your work in your garden, and everyone can see the garden and the artwork. These are just ideas. Write your own ideas down and see if they work for you. This is the end of this section. What I want you to do now is write down your own ideas. Which ones do you like the best, and what can you do to get towards that goal?